<laughs> All your lackeys cost 11. Your Leroy costs 15 mana. He, he's gonna, he can't play a 15 mana Leroy. I mean, get real. Wait, what? Okay. Hey, buddy, watch this. That's okay, though. We need cheaper cards here for quest. Doesn't Boom Pistol just shut this deck down? Of course, yeah. <laughs> for a turn or two. But that's the irony of it. We're also playing the Boom Pistol, so... I don't think people, particularly Rank 2, will have adapted the Boom Pistol just yet. I think Boom Pistol will come later for most folks. I don't think this dragon should be wearing that outfit. If Jaina can't wear what Jaina wears, this dragon is uh, perhaps even more sultry than Jaina. Oh, cool. Face Hunter stuff. Mm, sure. Okay, can test a little better for sure. Either of these um, would set up a scale right if we weren't overloaded, but we are. I, I can't beat Face Hunter. If this, if this is like a Face Hunter deck, we're 100% done, so. Looks like a freezing trap. Snakes, it is. Snakes is bad, but maybe not that bad. 1-1's one, good to contest snakes, okay. We just don't have enough healing in this deck to beat like a face hunter, right? If this is still more of a Highlander hunter, we might be able to contest. We'll see. Vander Smosh could make it. I mean, if this turns into a high reek on curve, like... Oh, okay, sick. So it's more uh, Highlander. Nice. That's really good news. Ooh. That would be bad now, but awesome in general. Oh my god, Banner Smash High Reek right now, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Banner Smash High Reek right now. Everybody just start spamming High Reek in chat. Spam High Reek. Just type High Reek. High... Hurry, it's, it's almost time. Hurry. 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 It's time. Oh, Reno. We're telling our opponent that we're Highlander, but I don't care. The tempo here is insane. Big time board swing. Not Harry, you guys were too late. You guys were slow. To me, I was already playing Reno by the time you guys started typing Harry. On my end, you looked so slow. So slow. Zephyrus showing up. I think we'll just Cobalt and trade for now. Now that we know the opponent's deck's a little slower, we do have some, some play here. Neither of these is that exciting. I think we just trade. These might be good later. I mean, they're both fine for later. So Quest is almost done already. It's kind of nuts. Um... Evil Caper Rat will complete it. Could even go like double Zephyrus next turn. I don't think we'll need to necessarily, but we could. We sure could. Go and face! Oh my god. The one one will hit here, but... I guess there's really nowhere else to go. Now that I think about it. Seems kind of fine. Rather double Fire Tree than double ca Cable Rat, right? Uh, double Fire Tree... Uh, gives me healing, which I think might really matter against Hunter. Like, we could get, you know, more stuff. And... Zap, I guess. I can't really play another card in case that's Rat Trap. I think we just gotta chill for now. We'll be able to... I mean, I could've and maybe if we had mana for Frost Shock, but there's nothing to Zap or anything to keep that mana going, so... We can activate it into a Zephyrus now as well. Zephyrus gets weird with hero power though because he doesn't really know like that you've he, he doesn't know you've allocated your first Zephyrus for your next Zephyrus, right? Like if you need a Shadow Word Death and he gives you Shadow Word Death, he still wants to offer you another Shadow Word Death. It's gonna give me like a Shadow Word Pain and something else. Mountain Giant's actually pretty sick, but I don't think it's time for that yet. Infiltrator's also awesome. I may take that for next turn. Because it should offer me the same stuff. It's weird how it offers them in different order, as if, like, somehow it knows. Should have attacked face first. This is a mistake. I'm, I'm confident it's rat, but that's still a mistake. There's no reason not to be. Sure. It's actually just killed a rat. Oh my god, please hurry, please hurry, please, please hurry, please hurry, please hurry! Did it go off? Please tell me it got through. Okay. God. Now we don't have to worry about that. Oh, I did overload though for the stupid Dragon Queen. Oh, I don't like that play. I regret it now. I regret it now. That was unnecessary. Yeah, I don't like that line now. 
I regret it. I don't like our line. Someone's going to get the Regis dance. Oh, man. All right. We got a frost like that, sadly, so I can't, like, double the Nithog, which would be pretty sweet. So let's just Farsight and see what happens. Um, we can hit the button on that. That's fine. Doesn't really do anything this turn, but it, it develops a 3-6, which is nice. And I may not need to Hagatha's this now because I have, like, you know, I don't know, Totemic Smash or something. We'll figure it out. But, like, trade Totemic Smash would now answer the Siamat. But if not, we got other lines now. Mm, that might still be Hagatha schemable, sadly. I just, I'm, I'm a little concerned because if I do commit the scheme now, I never really have an answer to an uh, Hagatha in the future. Does Shutterwalk here... Shutterwalk has the Reno in it, right? So Shutterwalk always clears. I think we maybe just Shutterwalk then. Answer to Hagatha. Did I say Hagatha instead of Alexstrasza? I don't know, man. Brains don't work, guys. Then we Shutterwalk. I mean, I think it's a 6-6 six, six minimum here. Oh, the Witchy Lackey. That helped out too. Okay. Oh, well. Maybe not. Yeah, a lot of spells. Okay, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lose the Zephyr spells, man. Those are the only things I cared about. He went last. I don't know what it would have gave me, but probably like two Tyrians or something, or Pyroblasts or something, right? I mean, we still got a lot of cool stuff, and I got the board back, all of which are very nice things to have done, but it's just not what we were looking for. Snip Snap is kind of awkward, although I'm going to be able to bounce the Shutterwalk if I want, which is pretty cool. Oh, I have Earth Shock. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not awkward. I have Earth Shock. Oh my god. And he went into one. He went into one. Oh my god. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Um, I need to double it. Okay. I have eight spots left, right? It just shuffles one, but it gets double buffed, right? That's bigger. Let's go. Okay, um, Rogue, I mean, I do like Sandstorm Elemental against a lot of Rogue stuff, so I think we'll keep Sandstorm, obviously, Quest. Brightwing, Brightwing's the kind of card we'll probably have time to play on three against Rogue. I mean, it does kind of play into, like, Seal Fate, I guess. But what the heck, what the heck else am I going to do? I need to have something going and activate our quest here. Alrighty, it's eh, a very awkward hand. Earthquake. I mean, eh, I need like a hex for the Edwin. I need just more cheap battle cries that are proactive. I don't have any that are like proactive right now. I, I don't think I can play that into the 2 3. This Brightwing may eat the trade and this might have a turn to stick. Oh, the call. I think I'm happy to play on three, honestly. It's got a battle cry, which is nice. I mean, I don't think the guy's running Plate Breaker, right? <laughs> I don't think he's running Plate Breaker. All right, yeah, that works out. Let's uh, let's try to stabilize this. I mean, the odds of it surviving against Rogue are practically nil, but it's at least got a tiny little baby window right now where it might work. Just assuming there's no Devoted Maniac, no well, Seal Fate, no Backstab, no SI7 Agent, agent no Cobalt Lackey, no... <laughs> it's like a million. Oh my god, it is going to live! Wow, my plan succeeded. I guess we dig for, like, uh, Earthshock here, right? Um, mutate, blazing invocation, or ancestral healing. Probably blazing invocation for lack of anything else cool to do. Sun Reaver War Mage is active for us, which is pretty sweet. Seamot's probably a better card on average, but this seems to fit our curve right now for next turn pretty well, and it kills the Edwin, so let's do that. Poacher might be nice, okay. All things considered, a 4 for Edwin's is not that spooky anyway, so I think we're happy. We're fine. Reasonable trades. Oh, interesting. It still works for this, I guess, but it's a little less exciting. I get the scheme. Unfortunately, not the play right now. Boom pistol bully in hand. Let's go new card. I don't think it's time yet. I think this still works out for us just fine. Doesn't put us ahead on board, but it keeps us even. Keeps us even enough for now. Uh, this is exciting. This is a good way to shut down, like, a Lackey turn. Or a Galakron turn. 
or a Kronk's turn, or a billion other turns. There's <laughs> just a million ways this, this card interacts with the game right now. Uh, let's go ahead and Lackey first, and I think we probably just get by with a Twilight Drake for now. This will give me some decision points, though. Witch's Brew is the kind of thing we might need to catch up later. Particularly cool with High Priest the Call, right? Do I need to use this in a more targeted way, though, you know? I think I gotta use that in a more targeted way. There's just not anything in particular I'm trying to stop right now. There might be things I'm trying to stop later. He could go Togwaggle here. Does he actually know? Maybe he doesn't actually have a Lackey right now. Oh, that would have been good to stop. <laughs> that would have been pretty good, actually. That would have been a nice thing to hit, huh? What do you know? What do you know, chat? That would have been pretty good. Gotta say. I'm an idiot. I can't do all of those things. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. I'm not an idiot. Why am I bad at math? I was right at math, and then I was bad again. The double the call I've never seen, but it works out okay. It works out okay. Double the Thakal. <laughs> what? Marizza just for two minions, but it's just a big dude. I get it. I think it's smart. I, I, uh, I think Earthquake now has to happen. Hopefully we have a minion to trade into this 8-8, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't have a lot to do with this spare two mana anyway at the moment, so let's just uh, squeak in some damage and clear. <clears throat> All right, so we have 19 armor. Now we can Witch's Brew into, you know, 20 health at some point for, like, a 39 total health pool if we want. We need to find a window for that, obviously. That's not just inherently good all the time. Where's that Hex at? Show me that Hex. This might be a time to go Nithog, too, though. Just get a lot of minions he has to think about. Let's go Nithog now. I think it creates more opportunity. To swing this back to give me time to play things like Witch's Brew. Yeah, I, I don't want to play Witch's Brew at a moment where I'm like facing down 20 damage on board, right? I need to be ahead a little bit when I play it so I don't sacrifice too much tempo in the meantime. All the GMs are watching Regis. I doubt it. Oh, that's an early Galakrond at least. Man, I don't mind that. It does give him his hero power some, you know, value generation, which is a little bit intimidating. But if we ever get too scared of a really big turn, we can just boom pistol. Okay, he's gonna leave these up man doesn't even kill one of them jeez that seems really risky right man what did he draw that he's not worried about these bit of a risky biscuit proposition i think we probably want a boom pistol here but that means he can't play leroy so i can't be that dead if i boom pistol right i think we just trade down trade down trade down kill two one ones boom pistol and we shouldn't need to Witch's Brew if I Boom Pistol, right? I don't think we need to Witch's Brew if we Boom Pistol. I just don't think there's that much damage output available. Uh, what's the best way to minimize damage? Maybe it's actually like this, right? I never really know what the best thing to bounce is here. Arguably, I think it's the Boom Pistol, but... That was at one health, and there was a 1-1 one -one on board, so... Felt a little too juicy to pass up. So, 4 damage showing, but how do you kill me when all of your lackeys cost 10 mana? Or 11 mana? <laughs> all your lackeys cost 11, your Leroy costs 15 mana. He, he's gonna, he can't play a 15 mana Leroy. I mean, get real. Wait, what? Okay. Okay. Why does the Galakron discount overwrite the freshly played... Why does the Galakron discount overwrite the card that just got played? It sets the cost to zero, yeah, but then there's a new effect applied on top. Galakron was played. Then I played a Boom Pistol Bully, and then the game said, no, 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 your Boom Pistol Bully does not count, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I don't know. There's not that much damage. I'm just going to take this opportunity to do this and clean up next turn with the scheme, I guess. Boom Pistol Bully says, enemy Battlecry cards cost five more next turn. 
They both use the same bracketed text. One of they're both battle cry effects. Why would the one played second? Why would the one played second not overwrite the one played first? Not a bug happened in Arlington, but that doesn't make it not a bug. That just means it's a bug that happened somewhere else. They cost zero, so it's permanently zero. It, you are correct that that's the interaction, and you're defending it because that's the interaction you've seen, but that doesn't mean that it's it's the correct interaction, right? Like, you can still argue that it should be a different way. Um, maybe we just switch this brew one more time. No, I'm wishing I'd hit hero power, but I may need this lackey to kill these, so we'll see. Uh, taunt minute would be nice. That's not good for us. The cost zero overwrites effects. But <laughs> it happens first. There's no overwriting happening, right? It's underwriting the effect. It's the way it's worded. <laughs> yes, but what I'm saying is the words don't mean anything. That's not a good argument to make. It, 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 there's no reason. The words are the same words. They, they both say they cost a certain amount. Galakron literally says they cost zero. And Boom Pistol Bully says enemy cards cost five more next turn. They both use the same bracketed numbers. They both use the word cost. There's no precedent implied in either of those, right? Neither of them suggests a sort of precedence over the other. We're barely hanging in here. I mean, Dragon Ball Poacher's sick. But let's see what's in here first. Uh, Goblin Lackeys are actually also sick. Yeah, these are insane. This is a really, really good turn. Okay. So, look, guys, we... A lot of you say that's how it works. That how, that's how it works. W of course, we saw it. We know how it works. But that's not a reason for it to work. I, I agree with you that it's not a bug. I I'm saying it's a bad interaction. I'm saying it shouldn't work that way. Again, a lot of you are saying, watch the hysteria video. That's how it works. That's how it works. But I, I, we're not arguing that. We're arguing it shouldn't work that way. That, we're arguing that that's the incorrect way for it to work. It doesn't make sense that it works that way. It's actually a lower attack minion. I may have time to Witch's Brew again, but it's still like flipping this value is going to be so hard without another board clear. I may just have to go into Dragon Queen and hope for the best. Shutterwalk actually has got to have more in it, right? What does Shutterwalk have? Definitely clears those 1-1s one at least. I don't know. I guess it's got a Twilight Drake. It's going to be big. It could get Rush maybe. Let's just play it and see what happens. It does have Rush, but it can't kill the Ysera yet. Maybe it never will be able to. <gasps> oh my god. It got buffed, of course. That's a shame. We could have killed Ysera. Boom Pistol Bully is actually really nice too. Oh, Nithog, sure, yeah. Oh my god, this is a buff. That's enough. That's enough. Oh my goodness, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Those... The oh, uh, Goblin Lackey coming in clutch. Lothab doesn't increase Scorch. Yeah, but that's because Scorch has a card text that overwrites. Sc Scorch is built into the card text. It's always reapplying, right? Like, if you play Lothab and then you go into your hand, Scorch has card text that's overriding. The card drawn from Galakron does not have said card text to override it. It was set by a previous effect that is already resolved, but there's no constantly re-updating text on something like Scorch and Lotheb. So Scorch makes sense, because the card text is reapplying after the Lotheb effect, right? This one, there's no reapplying card text from Galakron. There's no reason the zero cost should re-update, right? Uh, Lissenbork's pretty sweet. We could try to get some Witch's Brew action off that, but I think we might just need a Witch's Brew now to stay really safe because we have a nicely developed board at this point. So I would say uh, let's Witch's Brew and uh, hey, thanks for the raid start yesterday. stabilizing this. It was actually kind of funny because I'm going to play one me, card here. I put myself on mute so I didn't notice it first. Lol. Actually, I'm going to really play two cards it. here and uh, clear that and go. Uh, let's see, that Lost Caveman, I like how you're actually trying to come up with an alternative theory. That's nice. Here you go. He says, uh, one could argue the cost zero effect from Galakron was an effect on the hero and not an enchantment on the card. That would explain it. 
that could explain it if it's like tied to being Galacron and it's like re-updating it again. That would be an explanation. It would still be weird, I think. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> it would still be super duper weird, but that would be an explanation for sure. Um, yeah, let's just go Nithog again. It's so freaking big and it creates so much board. Uh, I think this just makes too much sense. He's got to kill so many of these. Let's actually just kill that. Uh, this game has been a great game for YouTube, and we have just completely ruined it by talking about this crazy interaction for 25 minutes. So, YouTube, my apologies. I'm sorry we talked about this game crazy interaction for 30 minutes and argued a lot. Uh, forgive us. We're just trying to learn more about the game. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> so apparently, I don't know, I don't know all the details, but there's a difference between Wand and Galakrond in how they update their costs. But Wand is a little different because, I don't know, it's not a Boom Pistol Bully interaction. Okay. <laughs> zero times five equals zero. I am so sick of this. Oh, man. <laughs> One says reduce the cost, the other says cost. No, it doesn't say, neither say reduce. Uh, they both say cards cost some amount. One says five more, yes, but they both use the same language core, which is cost, parentheses, mana. Uh, oh, Sky General Crag finally active, and I think we'll use it too. Oh, oh, Wand you're talking about. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about Boom Pistol and Galakrond again. Sorry. Yeah, Wand may say reduce. Maybe that's why they're different. That would make sense. Pyro with five gifted subs. This is the worst YouTube video ever made. But that's okay. YouTube's just going to have to deal with it. Actually, I can't play that because I'll get uh, copyright striked on YouTube. Or claimed at least. Two shark baits. I don't even need them all, because I already have all these other dudes, too. But it's okay, guys. That's what we want. We're going to hold his efforts for a lethal push, right? It's a very, very good board. Thank you, Pyro. We got to stop talking. Oh, my God. Flame Strike is actually crazy. Wow, dude. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to clear now. Shoot. Oh my god, Tess is a problem. Is he is he gonna copy that Tess? If so, we could still lose this easily. Oh my god, that flame strike, dude. Wow. I don't think I can go for double Zephyrus here, right? I, I I can technically go for like Blizzard and just lock that down, but or Brawl, I I guess Brawl's not too bad. I, I would sure hate an 8-8 eight eight to win though. If an 8-8 wins, I'm super, 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 super sad, though. Shadow Madness is actually not bad, by the way. If I could play two shot. Oh, Betrayal! Betrayal times two is insane! Oh, wait, is it, though? Oh, no, it's not, because of the stupid... It's gonna kill that one! Ah, the order's wrong! Shoot, the... Stupid. If they were positioned differently, Betrayal would have been nuts, but I can't risk it. Okay, that's worked out anyway. Now I have a useless freaking Betrayal, though, because I got excited. I should have just taken the other Brawl. Thought I didn't want a Blizzard. Man. We got to play Dragon Queen soon. We're, we're not creating enough counter pressure now. I thought we had enough with all those 4-4s, four but the Flame Strike test really bummed us out there. Well, Betrayal might be good again. <laughs> Let's see. We could just go, like, Betrayal, Loosen, Bark. Would like to get time to play this Hagatha as well. Whoa, I need that Dragon Ball Scorcher. Did hey, we play Regis, that? I guess so. Just got home from school. Could you please help me with my homework? <laughs> what is five times zero? <laughs> Boxer, dude, thanks for the donation, man. That is amazing. What is making board space for? I wonder. What's that backstab about? Oh, hand size. Hand size. That's why. Uh, I mean, this does leave a 3-3 and some 3-3s, which isn't great. It's just still not, like, a strong play, though, you know? We haven't really been making a lot of strong plays. I mean, he didn't get more tests, so we can probably win this in Fatigue, but Lackey value is always intimidating. So he trades down over this. I bring it back with a Life Drinker. We deal 6 to the face. 
I have four mana remaining. I, I can't really do anything. I could maybe play a Scale Rider or something if we draw it. I'm hoping that we finally get a turn where there's just, like, not a lot of pressure. Not a lot of big stuff. We maybe just get... Maybe the Life Trigger turn will buy me that luxury because we'll know that we have more health and we can buy time to play an Alex. We're probably going to end up desperation Alexing. It's probably not a terrible uh, Electra Eureka. No, that's not very good. If I get a hero power, maybe, but it's too much mana. Licensed Adventurer being gone was a big deal. Oh, that saps. Pretty annoying, actually. It's eight damage to the face I did not want to take. Now I don't know if I can afford to play this. Oh my god, he's gonna. Oh my god, Hunter Hero Power is a nightmare if he gets it. Actually, Warrior would be bad too. Oh, Druid's actually bad too. Oh my god, we're gonna lose, guys. We're gonna lose. Oh no, I don't have a good board there, man. We could go for Cobalt Spellkin. I mean, there's a lot of one mana spells like Totemic Mites and stuff, but my hand size is just too full. I only get two even if I hit the button. Still tilted about Boompistol. I am, yeah. I, guys, I think we're screwed. I don't know, man. I think I gotta try this, but I think we're dead unless I hit, like, I don't know, some insane dragon combination. I mean, that's not bad, I suppose. It's not good, though. Maybe he AFK'd while I was taking so long. I'm probably... Oh, am I dead to board here? Oh, I'm actually just dead. 8, 10. Yeah, I'm just dead to board. Okay, well. Nazdorm who saved me. <laughs> Nazdorm who saved me, man. Oh, I'm super dead. Yeah. Okay. God dang it. What a game to lose. That test turn just completely broke us. Bully does... Well, Bully works as it should, perhaps. Yes, I mean, arguably, Galakron's zero-cost discount doesn't work as it should. But King Ferris is too greedy, yeah. Too greedy. Uh, this deck is really, really fun, by the way. Really, really fun. Should have played Eye of the Storm? Maybe. Maybe you're right. Seems like it's limiting us next turn too much, but maybe. I love how everybody says Eye of the Storm afterwards. Maybe some of you said it before, actually, it looks like. <laughs> just after the fact. <laughs> well, Regis, that didn't work. You should have played the other thing that could have worked. Uh, would I the Storm actually have worked? Uh, he traded into two pretty well, but it probably would have worked at least for a turn. Still worried about the long-term prospects there, but... Anyway, we gotta set that game aside. We gotta set that game aside, because that, that, uh... That was crazy. Alright, let's go, uh... Corrupt the Waters is certainly fine, but we need cheaper cards than that to, to suit it. Okay. Evil Totem is perfect. Rogue certainly has a lot of answers to Evil Totem, but at least one would be fine, probably. Pass back a little value. Pharaoh Cat. I mean, this is always dead to that, but again, like I said, just get some value back and we're good. Draconic Lackey works well for our deck. This could be good. Calic goes into Flame Strike. Great example. Unlikely, but possible. Oh, no, you can't get Flame Strike. Shut up. But we could have got, you know, whatever. Earthquake or something. Earthquake would have been bad. Alrighty. Scale Riders, pretty sick. Lightning Storm is what we could have got that would have been good. Lightning Storm. My moon and Seal Fate, your owns are 3 3. But they don't always have it. Yeah, who am I kidding? <laughs> who am I kidding? Hey, they didn't have it. Yay. What do you know? Wish that was a dragon. It is not. If you guys ever notice the dragon maw poacher looks like he's kind of like there's a dragon like next to him but he's aiming like way off in the distance i don't know what his deal is he's missing the dragon here these are all pretty solid options for us i think i like scorcher a little better but i am light on resources right now so spellkin's interesting i do have the sandstorm elemental as well so scorcher kind of doubles down on something we're already doing fairly well Probably would have just taken a three drop here if I'd hit it, by the way. Like, a Nightmare Amalgam would have been sick, but... 
think we're going to play Electra here. Just to uh, get a quest activation and maintain some tempo on board. We saw there was no seal fate last turn. Hopefully that retains some truth this turn. How much is this worth? Okay. Well, Sandstorm could certainly deal with that. It does activate this guy though, which is no fun. I think we just go Spellkin. There's nothing that scary on board. Ooh, we finally hit a licensed adventurer. Is it time to do that, though? Not yet. We'll have time. Okay, those are both fantastic. Yeah, now Sandstorm into Earthshock on this guy is pretty sick. Or it's going to trade anyway, so we don't really even need that. That's fine. I haven't seen a Waggle pick in a while, man. What is this deck we're playing against? It's more of like a Tempo Rogue than a Galakrond Rogue. It's... Kind of crazy. He's at rank 3 though, though, so it must be working at least fairly well. I'm not going to complete, am I? No. Uh, I'm going to assume this works like I think it does. And does not... <laughs> fail. <laughs> There's like a weird world where you technically like don't control the quest as soon as you play this. But if it didn't work that way, that would be awfully, awfully sad. Okay, made sure we uh, hit Hero Powered first for once. Actually towed him before playing Quest. The guys, I'm a pro Hearthstone player. So good at the game. And I definitely understand how Boom Pistol Bully works with uh, Rogue Galakrond 100%. I have no questions about that. I don't really mind this as far as um, a bounce is concerned. That seems fairly weak in the scheme of things. Yeah, it's kind of a pain to deal with right now. We don't have a strong button play. At only six mana, right? We may just Nithog, but it's behind on board, which is sort of a bad time to do that. But it does get it in the Shadow Rock pool. The 5-5 five, five contests at least a little. Assuming he replays this. I mean, Earthshock, Voltaic Burst is some combination that helps deal with this, I guess, but... Yeah, nothing here particularly exciting. I think we just we just play the 5-5, five, five, right? <laughs> if we weren't overloaded, I may have hit the button right. If he kills the 0-3, it's no big deal. We have a 5-5. Five, five. We just set up for a better turn next turn. We don't take a lot of face damage, so it's kind of a heal 6. Worst case, or heal 7 in this scenario. Which seems fine. Um, Dragon Ball Poacher would be cool if we could hit that and get some work out of it. I don't know if we will. Mm-hmm, more random stuff to deal with. I'm sure we're going to have a test coming down. What are the odds of seeing, like, two Burgle test rogues in a row at, at, at an actually competitive rank three? We're very early in the season, so rank two and rank three right now are actually pretty hotly contested still. Most people who are fairly high legend are still climbing. It's kind of wild. Very strange to see. Okay. You gonna bounce that again? <laughs> this minion's been played like eight times. Oh, oh, just crystal power, hero power. Okay, that oh, works, I guess. Gets to go face for four here. Did he? Did he attack? Oh no, he already attacked. Never mind. Of course, he cleared the guy. Obviously, obviously. Uh, Button Drake gets pretty big. That can kill something with a Voltaic Burst. That's fine, I guess. Honestly, hacking the scheme into Voltaic Burst isn't bad right now. It full clears and it saves me a 5-5. Five, five. I am a little bit light on health, so leaving a 4-3 up is a little bit intimidating. But it's also just such an early hag at the scheme that it does not feel strong, right? That doesn't feel good. We we would imagine this deck doesn't have quite as much direct damage, but he's running waggle picks. I do overload a little, but that's not so concerning when we're at higher mana totals. Drake coin barista? 
I don't. I think that leaves way too much pressure on board. Leave seven. Yeah, maybe not actually. No, I'm gonna save coin. Clicking my button, but who cares? I'm gonna save coin. We have some pretty powerful coin plays in this stack with hero power. Like a coin shutter walk could save me. A coin Alex could save me later. This just buys me the most time. It's an early hag of the scheme, yes. But I'm assuming this deck doesn't have a lot of big reloads. Un you know, It's not quite like a Togwoggle that's playing as many lackeys and stuff. It seems like most of their minion pressure has probably already been exerted early. Now it's going to be like random stuff from, you know, random other class cards and things. Uh, let's attack first, actually, for freezing trap. I mean, explosive trap. Okay, we could be dead to a Leroy here, so I'm a little nervous if I don't find some healing. Rock biter weapon. I'm getting close to killing him, so maybe rock biter weapon is worth it. Storm's Wrath does a similar thing, but it requires minions. <laughs> Storm's Wrath, I guess. Okay. Could easily just be dead here, sadly. We are setting up for a counter lethal though. So Leroy Wright is uh what, sixteen or something? Might be Leroy here, it's been in hand a long time. But see you can see why I didn't want to take all that damage, right? Like even leaving up a four attack minion that turn, if I had done like, you know, a Barista Twilight Drake turn would have would have put us down to nine right now. Like, oh my goodness. Nine is so scary low. Sap, sure. What are what the bounce is here? No bounce. Must be playing something big. He wants to stay on board then. Oh my god. I really, really need to kill him or find a taunt. Uh, I think I go Barista into Fire Tree Witch Doctor, right? And I can find a bunch of healing and stuff. I have a little bit of a hand size restriction, but that's okay. Some coin. I don't think we had a lethal right because we only had seven. This is eight, and then that's eleven. But fire tree witch doctors can find me. Oh shoot! But I'm full on cards again. Ah, gosh, dang it. Um, if I do this, I can't play a heal. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can get ancestral healing and play it for a taunt. Stimic Smash can also give me a taunt, although no, I can't because I can't kill anything. Uh, doesn't matter. Oh, well, okay. GG, I guess. This doesn't overkill anything for a totem, right? So. Can't uh I, I could I could have like earth shocked this and then totemic smashed, but then I don't have enough mana, right? So I guess we'll just see if we're dead or not, and then we'll have lethal if we're not dead. Because <laughs> we got a lot of damage in hand, right? Double rock biter, uh totemic is is eight damage from hand. No way did he hit it off that. No way. No way, dude. He got like lava burst or something. Oh man. We're getting BMs. That sucks. Maybe he's trying to make me concede, I don't know. Lava Burst is still out. That's so crazy, dude. Lightning Bolt is too, actually. That sucks, dude. Maybe it's just uh, Totemic Smash and he's BMing. Maybe it's just Totemic Smash. Is he actually... Oh! <laughs> it was just like a Earth Shock or something. He's BMing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. 